Thompson, first year BC student, Department of Botany, J. Middle College, Bandar. Here I am going to deliver this seminar on the topic Gynosium. The subtopics are Gynosium and its part, Carpal, Cohesion of Carpal. So let's begin. Gynosium. What is Gynosium? Gynosium is the fourth innermost part of a flower. This is the reproductive part of flower which is responsible for the process of reproduction. Actually, gynosium, it is also called as pistil. Its individual member or the individual unit is called as carpel. Carpel is nothing else. It is sometimes interpreted as the foliar structure or you could say sometimes interpreted as the modified leaf which consists of three different parts. The parts are as follow. Stigma, style, ovary. These three parts comprises carpel. So let's start from the stigma. What is stigma? As we can see that the terminal part, this is the terminal part of the flower. So stigma is referred as the terminal part of flower which is the receiving site of the pollen grains. At maturity, the stigma forms sticky. This is for the process of the germination of pollen tube from the pollen grains. That is why it is called as stigma. Stigma can be divided on the basis of their shape. It may be capitulate. Capitulate is in the form of this shape. This is capitulate. When in case of simple stigma, it is being shown as this form. This is the simple stigma, which is not having any two branches like shape. It is having only one in the form of discoid shape. That is why it is simple stigma. Second portion is the style. Style is the elongated middle narrow portion of the flower. Style is the elongated middle narrow portion of the flower which can be divided on the basis whether they are having transmitting tissue present inside the tube or not. If they are having transmitting tissue inside it, then they are classified as two types. First one is the hollow. Second one is the solid. Hollow, in the hollow sense, it bears epidermal cells in its lining but it do not contain any transmitting tissue. That is the hollow type of step. If it contains transmitting tissue inside the elongated middle, middle narrow portion then it is called as solid stigma. So, sorry, solid style. Usually they are divided into three. That is terminal, lateral, gynobasal. Terminal style is that style which arises from the terminal region of the ovary. In case of lateral, when it arises from the lateral side of the ovary, it is called as lateral style. And in case of gynobasal, when it arises from the basal region of the ovary, it is called as gynobasal style. That was about the style. Now let's start about the ovary. What is ovary? As we could see here, ovary is present at the basal region, which is somewhat swollen and it is hollow in nature. It contains placenta. Placenta, it is the parenchymatous tissue which bears ovule. Inside it, it contains the ovule. Ovary, it forms fruit whereas ovule, it forms seed. Now let's start the differencing point of the ovary. Ovary is differentiated according to their position. They are divided into two different types. Superior ovary, inferior ovary. Superior ovary are such type of ovary in which the ovary it bears at the uppermost portion. It is bearing at the apex region. In the sense the thalamus, sepals, petals, these are lying below the ovary. But in case of inferior ovary, the ovary is bearing at the basal region. It means in the sense sepals, petals, thalamus, these are lying at the uppermost portion. That was about the ovary. Now, the number of locules and number of chambers which are present in the ovary. According to the number of chambers, they are divided into unilocular, bilocular, trilocular, tetralocular, pentalocular. That means in the sense that unilocular ovary are such type of ovary which are having only one locule. Bilocular which are having two locules. Locules are nothing else, these are the chambers. Trilocular, these are nothing as three locules. Tetralocular, four locules. Pentalocular, five locules. Polylocular, in the sense it has many locules, more than five, it's, it means. Then the next portion that we are going to cover is the cohesion of carpal. This is a necessary 
topic because this has been asked for one half question. Write down the definition of apocarpus pistil, syncarpus pistil. So about the cohesion. Cohesion on the basis of the cohesion of pistil or the cohesion of carpel, they are divided into four. Simple pistil. Simple pistil is such type of pistil which are having only one carpel or one pistil. They are divided into only one carpel that is monocarpillary in nature. Monocarpillary. Monocarpillary in the sense they are having only one carpel. One carpel, monocarpillary. For example, P. P is having only one carpel. Second one, compound pistil. Compound pistil are those pistil in which the flowers in which the gynoecium part is aggregated. They are formed in aggregate portion. That is why it is called as compound pistil. It has been divided into bicarpillary, which is having two carpels. Third one, tricarpillary, which is having three carpels. Then tetracarpillary having four carpels. Pentacarpillary having five carpels. Then afterwards, polycarpillary having many carpels, more than five. Bicarpillary example datura. Then tricarpillary example stellaria. Tetracarpillary example datura itself. Pentacarpillary example hibiscus. And last one, polycarpillary example is papaver. This is compound pistil. Next one, apocarpus. Apocarpus type of pistil are those pistil in which the carpels are free. That is in this case. This is first carpel, carpel A. This is another carpel. These carpels are not fused. They are free. Free in the sense they are apo. Apo means free. Apocarpus. Apocarpus, two different words are joined here. Apo means free. Carpus means carpel or the pistil. In which the pistil are not free. Uh, they are free. They are not fused. That is apocarpus pistil. For example, rose. Rose, it is having apocarpus type of pistil. Another last, that is the same carpus. Same carpus in which there are carpels, but the carpels are fused with each other. You could see here, the branching portion is attached with each other. You could say it is the fused with each other. When they are fused with each other, then we come, uh, come to know, then we say that these are syncarpus type of pistil. So this was about the type of pistil. This has been asked for, mainly specifically asked for one mark question. What is apocarpus? When in the flower, the gynoecium, the carpels are free from each other, such type of flower, bearing pistil are called as apocarpus pistil. And syncarpus are those type of carpel in which the carpels are fused with each other. The gynoecium part is called as syncarpus gynoecium. Best example you could see in hibiscus. It is having pentacarpillary also. I hope you understood this topic. Thank you for watching our video.